Kailua resident Greg Swowish is lucky to be here today thanks to these two ocean safety rescuers. Peter Irwin and Matt DeBrule rescued Swowish when he suffered a heart attack while he was paddleboarding off of Lanikai Beach. I went to Lanikai Reef, which is just slightly past um, Flat Island, and I just started feeling really junk in the water. And uh, I knew something was wrong. My, my dad had had a heart attack when he was 62, and I remember his story was, ah, I didn't think it was anything. He tried to drive himself home, he was smart enough to go to the emergency room at that point, and uh, he was having a heart attack. So I, I, I remember that, that, you know, don't don't discount what might be going on. That being said, I didn't, I didn't want to believe it. Um, so anyways, uh, I was catching waves. I started feeling really junk. Uh, I felt at one point lightheaded that I thought if I pass out, I'm gonna fall in the water and then it's all over. So I sat down and then that's when I decided I need to do something. So I figured if I could get back to Flat Island, I could get help. Surrounded by his wife and kids, Swowish told his story of how he paddled to Flat Island and flagged down some help. I made it back to the channel Flat Island. At that point, I was so exhausted, I couldn't even sit up anymore, I had to lie down and just a, by chance a freak wave had come in and uh, I was able to catch it lying down on my back all the way to the inside and uh, at that point I, I tried to flag someone down the first guy tried to flag down didn't see me the second guy was just an, this incredible guy and I wish we could find him if you're out there please get a hold of Ocean Safety and, and let us know who you are you saved my life this guy paddled the flat island immediately after first saying what you having a heart attack you know and I said and I still don't want to believe it so I'm like, oh, I think I'm just I'm just weak but he paddled to Flat Island, he got somebody with a cell phone. They called 911, so the ambulance was already on the way. So again, if you can take these in the water with you, I didn't have one, but if you can take these in the water with you, these, this, this is really save huge, to save your life. But anyway, so the ambulance was on his way. Matt was already out in the uh, water doing uh, trial runs or training on the uh, wave ski. They got a hold of him. He came in and I guess they had to kind of convince me to get on the sled. I wasn't quite uh, ready to admit I was having a heart attack. And uh, Peter said, get on the board. What did you say? <laughs> get on, we're going in. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think it was a little bit more forceful than that. But uh, anyway, so he told me get on the board. By the time I got to the beach, the ambulance was waiting. Uh, by the time I got into the ambulance, just the exertion of riding on the sled and walking up there, I was starting to have probably more, more uh, uh, effects of the heart attack. And uh, the EMT Chester, uh, I'm sorry, paramedic uh, Chester uh, said, uh, you got to move from this seat to this seat. This is the going to the hospital seat, he said. <laughs> and, uh, and he said that something very seriously was going wrong with my heart. So uh, we got to Castle, and about 20 minutes after being in emergency, they took me to the cath lab, and I flatlined. They had to shock me twice. So any hiccup, delay in the water, somebody not getting the message, or even me just refusing help, that could I could have been dead. So this is just such a huge win for me and my family because of everybody pulling together. I'd just like to say thank you for letting me keep my dad in my life. This story could not have happened with a successful end unless we had a lot of people working together. And that environment involved the fire who got the call, the 911 call. We had to call EMS who had the people here at the beach when Greg came in. We also had a jet ski involved with our lifeguards um, stationed here. They could go out and help and bring them in. And it was about different tiers of government working seamlessly here. Not a lot of talk, just action. And it resulted in saving this man's life. These things are happening every day on these beaches all around from Waikiki to North Shore to Sandy's to the west side. And these guys are out there, the tower guys, the rescue guys. Everybody's doing this every day. And we're thankful for them being thankful and yeah. the opportunity to help and be out there. Mm. So, thank so, you. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. We're just glad that he's here with us and everything went smooth.